Would you rather be roughly correct or precisely wrong? The biggest challenge I see with most construction schedules is they're just way too detailed. Every project I've worked on, the schedule has never aligned with reality and this isn't meant to be a criticism. I understand scheduling is unbelievably complicated, but the biggest mistake I consistently see is people just make them way too detailed and base them on information that they cannot possibly know. You end up with these thousand line Gantt charts and by the time you actually need them for something useful like justifying an EOT claim or determining what date your subcontractor should mobilize the site, you end up having to reverse engineer and create them yourself. So here's a simple framework I use to create construction schedules that are actually useful. Step one is to develop a work breakdown structure. Identify all the tasks in a hierarchical structure that you need to complete to complete the project. Once you've worked out all the work you need to do, put the tasks in order, working backwards from the completion date. Critically ignore resourcing here. Just look at the mandatory dependencies between tasks. What is the actual sequence tasks need to happen to? The reason I start from the end and work backwards because it's much easier to answer the question of what needs to happen for this task to occur than work the other way, which is asking what task does this task completing unlock? For example, if you need to turn the power on on a certain date, that would mean you need the switchboard installed, which means you need the cables terminated and tested, which means you need the cables installed, which means you need to buy the cables. Work backwards from the finish date asking what needs to happen for this task to occur. You then go through your work breakdown structure, working forwards and putting in all the missing tasks. So all your tasks are captured in what's referred to as a network schedule. All the tasks are in order, but they don't have durations associated with them. Next step is you estimate duration, assuming fixed reasonable resources. You don't want to get into any complexity about putting in resource linkages or anything else. Just assume reasonable resources, what you're most likely to have on the project and estimate the durations. The duration of each task will be the quantity divided by the production rate of the constraints. Every task will have a rate limiting factor. If you're doing formwork, the constraint to that will be how quickly the laborers can put up formwork. So the relevant production rate here is the production rate of putting up formwork. If you're installing precast bridge beams, the constraint is most likely going to be the rate the beams are delivered to site and not the speed at which the crane can install. So you need to understand what the constraint of that task is to accurately estimate the duration. The final step is to optimize. If you've violated any constraints, like the finish date of the project or the finish date of any separable portions now is when you can play with resourcing and non-mandatory dependencies to save on money. But always add in optional dependencies after you've got the big picture correct, the tasks in order, and reasonable activity durations. Now, I'm definitely ignoring some important complexity like subcontractor input, design changes, holidays, weather, all these different factors you need to consider. But I really like to keep it broad and simple, have a high level work breakdown structure, follow through these steps, get the big picture roughly correct, and then add detail as it's required.